Are you crazy? Because I know I am, and this is Card Fight Crazy. And in this video, we have an unboxing of Booster Set 4. But it's not English, obviously. It's not English because the English box is often over $100, and I did not want to pay that. I did not want to spend too much time around looking. I just I wanted it, and this Japanese box I got for 18 bucks. So, considering that I don't really care about actually playing these cards, it's just fine to me to grab the Japanese box. Now, a little bit about BT04. Uh, in Japan, it came out October 29th in 2011. And in English, uh, in the international, especially in America, it came out December 14th, 2012. Of course, came in after three, came before five, but most importantly, as you can see on the box, it was the introduction of the Shadow Paladin clan, the main antagonist of season one used by Ren Suzukamori himself. Uh, on here, we've got, of course, Blaster Dark, Blaster Javelin, Dark Side Trumpeter. On the back is uh, Masquerade, something, Nullity, Knight of Nullity. I know the Revenger version is a uh, Nullity Revenger Masquerade. I think I'm right on that. But it's a great box. Also came with. Uh, Dimension Police, Kagero, Nova Grappler, Royal Paladin, and Mega Colony. Can't say that it was a fantastic set because Shadow Paladin honestly didn't do a ton back then. I mean, they were an interesting clan with the cool mechanic of retiring your own units to gain the power. But competitively speaking, they did some things, but not a ton. Especially, of course, with MLB and Dote coming out in <laughs> the next set. But that's enough. Really, what I'm looking for, I want to get Laurel, because a Japanese Laurel would be awesome to play in a, a deck. I'd be fine with that, my friends would. It'd be, uh, I'd probably put it in metal boards. Them. All right, as always, let's take a little look at it. Oh, there you go. It looks nice. I love the silver dominant color here. Look at the pack again. Dark Side Trumpeter, Blaster Javelin, Blaster Dark, Ren on the back. I don't know what that is, of course. It's Japanese wording. And some numbers. All right, let's get into the first pack. Oh yeah, this system what was it? Uh, was it again? Eh, it might have been a points. I can't remember what it was. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Five cards in every pack. Uh, and unlike before, this one we're just gonna go a lot quicker because I don't know these cards enough. That's Karen. I don't know these cards enough to be able to point out every single one. That is the 10k booster stealth millipede? I think his name? Yeah, 10k booster. That's the critical trigger for Mega Colony. And the first rare. It's actually what might have been on the back of the box. Some guy, I don't know. Counterblast 2 to gain 4k, 10k. Woo, big whoop. So hopefully this box will actually go quicker. And all my other ones. Ah, the uh, I can't remember the the rest draw and drop. Uh, no, flame seed salamander is the great one. Nope, oh, I just turned on my printer. The Kagero stand uh, when it successfully boosts an attack. Uh, retire a grade zero. Karen again. Draw trigger, and, ah, no, nah, there he is, yeah, 10k beater. Alright, uh, rares, I'll snap down here. Both Shadow Paladin at this point. Do you want to pull a Blaster Dark and a Laurel, and a Phantom Blaster Dragon would be nice as well. Uh, I think that's the Enigma? Uh, Snogle. Draw trigger for D-Police. 
stand trigger for these blades. And the original incarnation of uh, Garmore. The grade 2 one. Yeah. Placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, you get to call a High Beast? Ah, I don't remember. Something about the High Beast deck with Garmore. And a uh, Snow Goal and Brugal. She could uh, help her. And then with the uh, Great Threes, you can make easy 21k columns. Uh, oh god, Demon World Castle, I think. Oh, that's the Grade 1 of the Blounds. Some Mega Colony Grade 2 card. 10k was that, I know, just looking at the Vanguard Rear Guard something, minus 5k, and then a plus 2k reminds me of all the 10ks that we have now. Stand Trigger. And the grade one for Kagero. The 10k booster when there's three or less, or you have more. One of those two. Three or less rear guards on your opponent's side, or you have more. One of those two. 10k booster. Ah, stand trigger for you, please. Uh, maybe the Magnum guy. Yeah. I do not know. Critical trigger for Depleche. And. Triple R, this is Amber Dragon. Yeah, yeah, it, it would be, it's Amber Dragon. It's the final part of the right chain. Uh, Eclipse is the one we got in the Legend deck. That might be Dawn. Hey, Blaster Javelin, some card. Ah, the Dimensional Robo Heal Trigger, I think. Shadow Paladin Heal, and the start of Giraffa. That is Larvae Mutant Giraffa, specifically. All right, next pack. Jacob's favorite, favorite Mega Colony deck of his favorite clan. All right, uh, some card. The, I think, yeah, that one's Larvae Mutant. This one's Pupa. Oh, uh, Victory Maker? Yeah, I think that's Victory Maker. There's the draw trigger for Megas. And there's the Mega Blaster for Megas. Wow, I was holding that all the way up here. My bad. Uh, Soul Blast 8, Counter Blast 5, stun everybody. The attack, it's an auto, so I think the attack has to hit. Uh, Soul Charge 1, and he gains 2k. I don't. Martial Arts Mutant? Uh, um, I, I don't know. Red Gem Carbuncle. Something for Royals. There's the Grade 1 of the Amber Dragons. Deep Police and Full Bow. Nice to see Full Bow. I do want to pull at least one. And then we pull Blaster Javelin. Uh, hold out. Now we just need to get a Blaster Dark. He's only a single R, so it should be fine. SP Blaster Dark would be incredible. Uh, don't know. Uh, that's Brugal. And Mega Colony Grade 3. Oh, it's, uh, I think it's one of those when you place it on Vanguard or Rearguard, look at the top card of your deck. If it's Grade 1 or 2, call it to Rear. Ah, I don't have enough time to look at that Katakana. I'm terrible with Katakana. And again, I'm terrible at most of Japanese, but it is what it is. That dancing guy, Brugal again. Ah, uh, Grim Reaper, I think his name was. And probably Enigman. Yeah, it's definitely Enigman. I don't remember the name, though, but it is Enigman. I can, I can see. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Tail Joe. Yeah, there it is. Tail Joe. Amber Dragon. He's an 11k attacker when all your units are at rest. Or all your opponent's units are at rest. Poopa. And another Mega Colony card. I don't know. Something placed on Rearguard? Stunson? I, I don't know. Oh, whoops, that's a, a single R. I do not know. A lot of these, like I said, I've forgotten. I didn't see them. Um, I don't remember that one. Karen again. Another blow. 
And a 10K vanilla or people. Draw trigger, air blaster cabin again, victory maker, critical trigger, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember the name. This is a uh... of a grapplers though. Something. All right, one triple R, no double R's, and we're almost through the right side. Demon World Castle, a special interceptor, stand trigger, and something. I, I don't know. But yeah, special interceptors. The moment in the anime, is it episode 17 when special interceptors are shown, is such a, a, a powerful moment. Overwhelmingly so. They're, they were nothing that special. I mean, you know, people just saw them and focused on them, attacked them, or just made a 10k attack so they had to be used. But in the anime, in the show, when he first used it, the world just went nuts. Everybody went insane over that special interceptor in the show. Uh, I, was, I started playing after that, so I don't remember how people reacted. Probably by going, eh. A critical trigger and Commander Laurel. There he is. Oh. All right, so I got the card that I I most wanted. I most wanted a Commander Laurel. That is gonna go in Metal Borgs. Why not? And oh, it's the uh, it's the Maiden of Libra clone. The Counter Blast two on hit. Water game? Yeah, water game. Come on, shadows. What I most just want to see is just, just the shadow paladin. Just a ton. Come on, blaster dark. Red gem carbuncle. Uh, stealth millipede. The demon world castle. The stand trigger. And there he is. Blaster dark. I have a single R blaster dark from BTO4. Then I have two promo ones. I have another single R. Blaster Dark, and now we got the Japanese, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I got the two promo ones from Jacob. They were like seven to eight dollars nowadays, but nobody wanted to buy them, so gave them to me, and I gladly accepted that. Stealth Millipede, a Enigmon. Ah, oh, I can't remember right now. Enigman guy. Yes, the Great Two version. Oh, I am so pumped for standard. I made two proxy standard decks because I just couldn't wait. Javelin, Red Gem, Kill Trigger, and Cosmo Beak. Yeah, that's Cosmo Beak. Counter Blast Two. Give your Vanguard 4K. Deep Police card. 8K Great Two. Enigma, that thing that I've never seen before. That guy that I've never seen before. Stan Trigger and oh the uh, the Shadow Paladin one. Look at the top card. It's great two or one shadow. Oh, the rear guard. Grim Reaper at the start. Tail Joe. And my comments are falling over. This card from Deep Police. Boxes are cool. It's got a, uh, like a printing on the inside. You know, the English boxes never have anything on the inside. It's got that right there and right there, and I'm sure there's another on the other side. It's good. And then, there he is. Heat Nail Salamander. Flame Seed Salamander? Uh, no. Be now. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, that's a triple R. Oh man, I forgot that that card was a triple R. Alright, alright, come on, Phantom Blaster Dragon. That's what we need. We got the Blaster Dark, we got the Javelin, we got the Full Bow. Now we need. Right, that's the. Blau? 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's the blau one. That's the enigma. And that's the blau one. Nova Grappler, deep please. In my mind, I always mix together Nova Grappler and deep please. It's been a problem. Demon World Castle. Something, something. Blaster Dark again. Gladly take two. I would be happy if literally every single rare in this box was Blaster Dark. <laughs> and one full bow. There, there it is again. Then. That might be Flame Seed. Yeah, I think that's Flame Seed. There's the Amber Dragon Starter. There's our. There we go, there we go. Lian Clown, that's what it was. Oh, there it is! Phantom Blaster Dragon! Oh, man. I am happy to get Phantom Blaster Dragon. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Three packs left. Should be one double R within them. Snow Goal, Heal Trigger, something critical, Enigma. Is it going to be this one? Yep, you. Uh, Rungal, I think that's name is. Oh, final pack. I think it should be a, a double R. Unless they only get four there. Right there. Tail Joe, Flame Seed, Demon War Castle, Special Interceptor, Draw Trigger, and Amber Dragon Grade 2. There we go. I mean, this box was easily a success. <laughs> I got the two cards that I cared about. Or the, the three. I got a Blaster Dark, times two. Commander Laurel, and Phantom Blaster Dragon. This Flame Seed's good, actually. I uh, don't know if I run it in my modern one. If I even had, or in my classic deck. My classic Dragonic Overlord deck. But I will now. Oh, uh, yeah. Heat Nail goes after grade ones. Flame Seed goes after grade zeros. Flame Seed is a stand trigger. There we go, yeah. All right. Having a bunch of the Amber Dragons and last stuff. This this was a wonderful, wonderful box opening. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, maybe check out some more of Card Fight Crazy's content. Now we got a lot of matches up. Generally, we play full matches instead of just single games because you know Vanguard works best in full matches. Uh, we have very minimal, well, there are some deck profiles, but they're all outdated anyway. But most importantly, we also have other classic box openings done by me. And we got the we got the, the blaster cards. Alright, I'm Joey. This has been Card Fight Crazy. Hope you're crazy too.